Please adhere to YouTube's selected guidelines before viewing content of this video. I do not encourage or condone any products, actions, or behaviors shown in this video. All videos are produced in a safe, professional, and controlled environment. Please do not attempt to replicate any actions performed during the video. All actions are performed by professionals. Alrighty, so today I rolled a cigarette with both Doka and normal tobacco. And now I'm gonna be smoking it to get a super fat buzz, which honestly I am very, very, very excited to do because, well, I wanna get a pretty fat buzz. Simple as that, you know what I'm saying? Simple as that. But what are my expectations for this experience? Well, in all honesty, I don't really have any clue what this cigarette right here is going to taste like, but if I had to guess what it was going to taste like, I'd probably say it's gonna taste like a Marlboro Red with some Doka in it. That That's, that's what kind of what I'm guessing it's gonna taste like in all honesty. I'm definitely thinking this might be a, more, a bit more rough than a normal cigarette as well, just simply because of the doka. And I definitely do think that it's gonna burn pretty well just simply because of the normal tobacco in there and everything like that. I previously tried rolling a cigarette purely out of doka and everything like that, and it did not work very well. Doka is definitely not meant to be smoked in cigarette form, that is for sure. And as such, it just did not work very well. So as such, today, I guess the whole concept of this video and everything like that kind of thing is to try to make a doka cigarette that actually smokes somewhat well and everything like that, you know what I'm saying, I'm saying. And I definitely do feel like adding in normal tobacco and everything like that kind of thing will definitely make it smoke very, very, very well. So I definitely do expect, well, this cigarette right here to burn pretty well and to smoke pretty well and to taste pretty good and to get me super buzzed, that is for sure. The papers I used for this cigarette right here were some raw blacks, you know what I'm saying? And I think that's just about all I wanted to say for my intro. So without further ado, it is now time for me to go ahead and, well, get this cigarette right here, all it up, and, well, go ahead and smoke a cigarette that was mixed with both normal tobacco and doka to get a super fat buzz. Yes sir, yes sir, you know what I'm saying? <sighs> right off the bat, not super, not super heavy or anything like that. And there is an event going on over there and uh, there is there is some music playing I'm hearing. I hope YouTube doesn't pick up that music and copyright claim this video, that would certainly suck. But there is a little bit of an event going over on over there with some music, that is for sure. There was no music playing when I pulled up, but now in the last like minute they've started playing music and I just realized, you know what I'm saying? Uh-oh, uh oh that's for sure. <sighs> right off the bat though, this is smoking really, really, really good. And I gotta admit, yeah, it's it's pretty much tasting exactly like I expected. It's kind of like a, a Marlboro Red taste, kind of like a sweet and mildly sour sort of taste with some of the Doka taste in there as well, which I wanna say the Doka I used was some, it's some warm citrus OD, so it's sort of like a citrusy taste and everything like that kind of thing. When I was smoking out of, out of the Medwalk, I would definitely have to say it was very much a citrusy taste, and I'm definitely getting a mildly citrusy taste from this cigarette as well. So it literally just tastes like Marlboro Red tobacco and Doka mixed together, which honestly is really not a bad taste at all in my personal opinion. It's not really getting me super buzzed so far, but so far so good. No complaints might be happy, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, ooh, I will admit, I will admit, it is a little bit odd, not really how it's smoking per se, but. It definitely is, I think I, it's, I think it's just because I packed this cigarette so tight, but the airflow is a little bit reduced, but it's yet, yeah, but it's still got a very, very, very big body, which is interesting. Maybe that's part of the doka or something like that kind of thing. Maybe that's part of the doka that's in there because I try to do about a 50-50 mix of both normal tobacco and doka, although I do think it's probably, there, there's probably more normal tobacco than doka if I had to guess, but maybe that's just an aspect of the doka or something like that kind of thing. Although I will admit, as said, I definitely did pack this cigarette right here very, 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 very full. That is for sure, you know what I'm saying? Okay, yeah. That's definitely an aspect of the doka that is for sure. I did pack this full, so I'm sure that's playing a part uh, in that as well kind of thing. But the doka, I just tasted a lot of doka, so I think I'm burning through kind of a chunk of doka right now and everything like that kind of thing. And it's definitely burning a little bit slower, definitely burning a little bit not really like an actual cigarette and everything like that kind of thing, I definitely have to say. And that's definitely because of the doka, but so far, I mean, like, this is burning more like a normal cigarette than not. So certainly no complaints on my behalf, that is for sure. And I will admit, I'm starting to feel a little bit of a buzz come on, but it's not super intense yet or anything like that. But I definitely do think as we get towards the end of the cigarette, it may or may not get more intense, that is for sure. But right off the bat, this is not really particularly harsh or anything like that kind of thing. It is a little bit harsher than a normal Marlboro Red, I will admit, but it's not super harsh by any means, certainly not harsh enough to make me cough, that is for for sure. Oh, 
So certainly no complaints might be happy, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go ahead and get myself a little bit of a screenshot real quick. Y'all know me, I gotta do it, you know what I'm saying? But right off the bat, yeah, this is tasting pretty good kind of thing. I definitely am feeling a little bit buzzed now, I will admit. It's not a super intense buzz. It's definitely not a super duper intense doka buzz or anything like that kind of thing. It's just very much a sort of energetic yet calming buzz that is kind of, it's, it's there, but it's certainly not the most potent buzz in the world that is for sure. But it is very relaxing. It is very energetic at the same time. I can definitely tell there is indeed doka in this cigarette, but I can also definitely tell that there is indeed normal cigarette tobacco in this cigarette as well. Because while well, I'm feeling a little bit of just a normal cigarette buzz kind of thing, I'm feeling very calm like I would if I was just smoking a normal cigarette, but I'm also feeling very energetic and very doka-like calm as well kind of thing. So those two buzzes are combining very, very, very well and honestly making for a very good experience. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. This, so far, so good. Let me put it that way, you know what I'm saying? And I think because of the doka, this is actually burning pretty slowly as well. It's definitely not burning as fast as a normal cigarette that I would roll, even with raw papers and everything like that kind of thing. It's definitely not burning as fast. And I think it's simply because of the doka. That was one of the issues with the Doka cigarette is that it literally just burned forever. It literally just burned forever. The, the pure 100% Doka cigarette just burned forever. And that's definitely something we're seeing here to a much less extent. And honestly, it's actually kind of nice in this scenario just simply because, well, it's not burning super slowly. It's also not burning super fast, but it is burning more slowly than a normal cigarette. I would definitely have to say, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, overall, certainly no complaints on my behalf. You know what I'm saying? Certainly no complaints on my behalf at all. I am overall legitimately impressed by this experience. Is this something I would do again just right off the bat? I'm not even done with this yet, but would I do this again? Yes, 100%. I would totally do this again, 100%. This is definitely a pretty good experience that I am very, very, very much enjoying right now. And I will admit that music in the background is distracting me a little bit, but hey, it certainly is what it is, that is for sure. But yeah, it is getting a little bit harsher as we're getting towards the end of the cigarette and everything like that kind of thing. But still, certainly no complaints on my behalf. I'm still feeling that very nice, very mild buzz and everything like that. Although I will admit, as I continue smoking, it is just getting more and more and more intense just by every hit I take and everything like that kind of thing. I will admit, certainly no complaints on my behalf. The buzz is just building on every single hit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I am overall very impressed, very impressed right now. I'm feeling, I'm feeling decently buzzed right now, I will admit as well. I'm definitely feeling decently buzzed right now, so certainly no complaints on my behalf, that is for sure. But yeah, I would definitely do this again. This is something that, yeah, I'd definitely do again. It's a great taste kind of thing. It's just a mix. It's sort of like a sweet, a very nice, sweet tobacco-y taste like you would get from a norm, normal Marlboro Red, not as sweet as something like, let's say, the Marlboro Southern Cut, of course. But you just get sort of a nice, sweet, my, uh, you get sort of a nice, mild, sweet tobacco taste from the Marlboro Red, along with a little bit of a sour taste in there as well. And then you get that sort of like warm citrus sort of taste as well, kind of thing, combining very, very, very well in taste. And they're also combining very, very, very well in buzz as well. Certainly no complaints on my behalf, that is for sure. Let's go and test the body real quick. I haven't done that yet. Pretty, pretty huge body. I ain't gonna lie, it is a pretty huge body, but it's definitely not smoking like super fast kind of thing. And the airflow really is not all that big. It's just a lot of smoke just because of that doka and everything like that kind of thing. Doka definitely does produce a lot of smoke. So that definitely does make sense, that is for sure. But the body certainly is pretty dang big if I do say so myself, you know what I'm saying? But honestly, yeah. I'm feeling fantastic right now. I'm enjoying this experience. And honestly, I don't really have too much else to say. I think I've pretty much covered everything I wanna cover. I'm feeling pretty buzzed right now. Am I getting a massive buzz? I would definitely have to say, mm, it's not a massive, massive buzz. I will admit, at the moment at least. I might get a massive buzz towards the end of the cigarette, but at the moment at least, it's not really a massive buzz. Like I said at the beginning of this video, I was definitely thinking I was gonna get a bigger buzz. But honestly, this buzz, 
I'm not complaining kind of thing. I'm not getting a super big buzz, but I really, I really have no complaints on my behalf, you know what I'm saying? Just simply because it's a very nice, chill, very mild buzz, but very, very, very enjoyable buzz that is not too intense kind of thing. You can definitely have a doka buzz that is too intense kind of thing, that is for sure. I've smoked doka uh, off video before, and I, the buzz I got from it was just, I was just like, oh my goodness, this is, I've got to sit this down, I've got to set this down kind of thing. I am too buzzed right now. This is most certainly not too, this this is most certainly not giving me too big of a buzz. It's just a very nice, mild, low-key cigarette and doka buzz. It is very, very, very nice overall, and I am very, very, very much enjoying this. That is for sure. <sighs> certainly no complaints on my behalf. You know what I'm saying? Certainly no complaints on my behalf at all. This is smoking pretty slowly as well. Honestly, if I was just looking to get a pretty good buzz... A little bit of a different buzz because this definitely is a different buzz than the normal cigarette buzz and everything like that kind of thing but i still wanted to smoke a cigarette i would definitely roll doka in with just some normal cigarette tobacco roll it with some papers put a filter in there and everything like that kind of thing and just smoke it i'd 100 percent do it again you know what i'm saying 100 percent. no complaints on my behalf you know what i'm saying what i'm saying And that music still is certainly going. That is for sure. I really do hope that I really do hope that YouTube's re like registry of like copyrighted songs and everything like that kind of thing can't hear the music in the background. That is for sure. That would certainly suck to have this video get copyright claimed over background music. That is for sure. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying. But, but, certainly no complaints on my behalf either way. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> yeah. I don't really have too much else to say about this experience. So I do think without further ado, I'm probably just gonna chain a couple more hits, see if I can just finish off the cigarette right there and everything like that, you know what I'm saying? And then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys my final thoughts on this experience and go ahead and end off the video right there. Am I getting a pretty massive buzz? It's not super big, but it is a good buzz nonetheless, you know what I'm saying? <sighs> Ooh, it got a little bit hot right there, I will admit. And there is so much tar coming through this filter. There is so much tar coming through this filter. Oh my goodness. Well, Doka does tend to have a lot of tar in it, that is for sure. And I'm using a top filter in today's video. So it definitely does make sense, that is for sure. Because top filters definitely don't be filtering out the most tar. It's just a filter for a filter, you know what I'm saying? You're saying. <sighs> I definitely do think if I wanted a slightly bigger buzz or something like that, maybe rolling this with a raw tip or just rolling this unfiltered would be pretty good, but I'm not really one for unfiltered cigarettes, so I'm still enjoying my filtered cigarette, you know what I'm saying, but certainly no complaints on my behalf, that is for sure. But right off the bat, ooh, an acorn hit me in the back, oh my goodness, but right off the bat, those last couple hits I chained, ooh, ooh, those got me pretty buzzed. I am definitely getting that massive buzz I wanted at the beginning of the video, now certainly no complaints on my behalf, that is for sure. Without further ado though, I'm gonna go and chain, I think, three more hits, and then after that, I'm gonna go and give you guys my final thoughts on this experience, and go ahead and end off the video right there. Yes, sir, yes, sir, and I'm saying, I'm saying. <sighs> Had to do some smoke tricks and everything like that, and I'm saying, that is for sure. or try to do some smoke tricks, that is for sure, at least. It is a little bit breezy out here today, so definitely not the best weather to do smoke tricks in, but hey, certainly no complaints on my behalf either way, you know what I'm saying, same. But without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and take the last two hits of this cigarette, and then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys my final thoughts on weather, on, on weather, on, I'm getting my words all jumbled up. I am pretty buzzed right now, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I definitely am getting that massive buzz now, but, after I go ahead and take these last two hits of the cigarette, I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys my final thoughts on the experience where I mixed both normal tobacco and doka into a cigarette and smoked it to get a massive buzz. Yes sir, yes sir, you know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and take these last final hits. But, I'm gonna go ahead and just stub this cigarette out on the ground just like that. Just go ahead and just rub it into the ground and everything like that. Got to make sure I ain't causing no forest fires because I am sitting in a field right now. I'm going to go ahead and just put the filter somewhere where I can spot it just to make sure I don't forget it when I'm throwing away all my stuff from this video and everything like that kind of thing or all my stuff. The only thing I'm throwing away from this video is the, is indeed the filter. I certainly ain't throwing away my cigarettes or my doka. That is for sure. You know what I'm saying? Same. But what are my overall thoughts on this experience? What, how, how has this experience been? 
overall, I will admit, I am pretty buzzed right now, y'all. I do, I am getting my words just jumbled up just a little bit and everything like that. You know what I'm saying? I am feeling pretty buzzed right now. I was kind of, I was kind of just taking it easy, just smoking a little bit slowly throughout this video until the very end. And I will admit, I should have been smoking a little bit faster because I would have certainly gotten that very big buzz a little bit faster. That is for sure. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying. But overall, how was this experience? The taste was fantastic. I ain't gonna lie. The Marlboro Red tobacco taste combined very, very, very well with the Doka taste. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. That is for sure. Very, very, very good taste overall. That combined, you I got sort of a mildly sweet, mildly sour, normal cigarette tobacco taste mixed in with sort of a warm citrusy taste overall making for a very, very, very interesting tasting cigarette and something I would definitely buy if it was, uh, if, if I could just buy these on the shelf and everything like that kind of thing. And a cigarette tasted like this, I would most certainly be buying that. That is for sure, you know what I'm saying? And I will admit, the the cigarette itself was not super rough. The body was pretty big though. And overall, did it get me buzzed? Oh man, most certainly, and I'm saying most certainly, and a very interesting buzz as well. I'm feeling very calm right now, very energetic right now. At the same time, I've got I, the, the buzz, I definitely have to say, to describe it correctly, I definitely have to say, is sort of a tobacco, normal, normal cigarette buzz combined with a very calming, yet very energetic doka buzz combining to make just a very, very good, calming, energetic buzz that is very, very, very enjoyable overall. Certainly no complaints on my behalf, that is for sure. Would I mix Doka and normal tobacco into a cigarette and smoke it again? Most certainly, I would most certainly do it again. Certainly no complaints on my behalf, that is for sure. But thank you very much for watching this video, guys. I think that's all I had to say about this experience. As such, I'm gonna go ahead and end off the video right here. Thank you very much for watching this video, guys. I certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching me mix Doka and, and normal tobacco into a cigarette and smoke it. And if you guys have enjoyed watching this video, of course, please make sure to like and subscribe for more content. I have my Instagram, my book, my merch, my PO box, and my second channel all in the description below. Go check it all out, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, thank you very much for watching, y'all. Until the next one, stay safe and peace and have a great one. Yes, sir, yes, sir, you know what I'm saying?